So, Daisuke, can you connect? Yes, my voice is okay. Yes, your voice is here. We can hear you. So, uh, this and okay. Mm. Okay, while you are preparing, I will. Uh, okay, and uh, I, I try. It, my uh, screen is okay or not? The screen is okay, and okay. I think there, there is a delay a little bit, so you can continue directly present your talk. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yesterday, the network is down, so it was down, so <laughs> uh, I am glad to <laughs> de replace my presentation to today. Thank you very much. Uh, my paper title is a Standing Assistance which realizes the voluntary movements of the patient within a safety motion tolerance. And I'm a Daisuke Chugo from Kwasen Gaku University, uh, Kobe, Japan. Okay, uh, content is here. The first is background motivation. Okay, introduction. As you know, uh, rapid aging uh, in Japan is a very serious problem. Uh, I believe the, this is the uh, only Japanese problem. Uh, I think the world world problem. So in Japan, the senior citizens are the population ratio exceeds 40% at the 2025. So very uh, high speed. So in this situation, many people need care. So this for these people, Standing and walking operation is the most serious and important operation in daily life. So, standing and walking assistance robots are required. So, previous robots, uh, many previous robots had developed. And uh, these robots, like uh, uh, Lieber, and this is uh, very um, widely used, this robot. But these robots are developed for the serious, uh, serious condition and uh, the patients with serious conditions. However, the slight conditions like uh, level one, level two, level three, these conditions, no such robots has been yet developed in this category. So this is a very important point. So our target is this level, uh, level one, or level two. If patient in slight condition do not use their own physical strings, and they become more serious condition because uh, physical strings will be reduced. So in Japan, the level one to level five, but um, worst case is a very uh, serious, serious problem. So to prevent this um, bad circle, Patient in slight condition should use should use their own physical strings. So our goal is to develop the assistance robot using their own physical strings. I believe. Okay, next. Uh, usually, uh, previous robot as, uh, robots uh, were widely used, and uh, in these robots. These robots realize one different trajectory like this. So if the patient posture differ from difference, robots, robots try to robot try to fix to the difference. However, a human human motion has a sum and some errors, usually some errors, like this, like this, or like this. Uh, if the different trajectory recommended by another specialist is here, robots will fixed to different paths like this. As a result, patient does not move their own, in, own intent because their movement depends on the robot assistance. Oh, sorry. So it is a cause to prevent patients from using all their own physical strings 
in daily life. So our proposal is that patients should use their own physical strings when they stand up. And this means robot should not uh, should not assist unnecessary support to realize uh, this problem proposal. Uh, we extend the range of reference like this. And the robot robot accept accepts their motion if if the um, reference wise patient in this in this means the patient moves their own intent in like red lines there are red uh, red uh, red areas so robot robot will not assist unnecessary support like this okay to realize this objective we we propose two points one is the Definition the tolerance posture from the reference pass. For realizing this um, pass, uh, we discuss the stability condition and muscular conditions. The next point is that uh, we propose assistance algorithm to realize our defined tolerance posture. For realizing this uh, objective, we um, propose a voluntary motion estimation and the safety evaluation based on integrated tolerance. So first, um, I, pro I explain the standing motion and safety tolerance. For realizing the uh, safety tolerance area, we use the computer simulation like this, sitting, stand, lift off, and standing. We test about the 300 times patterns to uh, standing models. For realizing the uh, safety and standing, the human should fulfill the two conditions. The first condition is the st st stability condition. Stability condition, the center of gravity should be located with the range of footprint like this. And this and this uh, posture, uh, the patient will fall down to the rear, uh, rear direction. The next is the mass condition. If the CLZ located on the footprint like this, um, but the, uh, this is a very uh, strange, strange posture. Uh, only for example, but this in this posture. If the COG located in the foot point, and the patient will fall down. So definition as access time tolerance is to safety both conditions we think. So we uh, examine many patterns, the, uh, 300 patterns of the starting motion and this motion, a uh, few feet of stability motion, um, condition and the mask condition. We're using the uh, simulation amplitude simulators like this. We can get the location of central gravity, muscular activity, and so on if it's a weak input joint angle. And as uh, human parameters, uh, we use the human parameters from the Japanese elderly, uh, typical Japanese elderly parameters. Different joint angle uh, is, uh, we use a uh, different joint angles like this. And this, this motion is recommended by the nudging specialist. This is a um, theta one, theta two, theta three like this. this Usually, uh, our standing, mo standing motion is a phase one, phase two, phase three. I explained. Phase one is inclining the upper body to forward direction. Phase two, lifting up the upper body. And phase three, um, finish, finish the standing motion. One, two, three. This is the result of the simulation. And these blue, blue points, the center, center of gravity, if it's a center of gravity located here, and this posture 
does not um, fulfill the stability condition. This red point, only stability condition fulfilled uh, if that, mm, these postures. And this, this is a, a suitable posture, and this means the stability and mask conditions both are fulfilled. So this is uh, only 70% uh, simulation results, but we uh, test uh, 0% to 100% the finished standing motion, uh, all, all motions we test. And uh, we measure these tolerance posture area. This red line, uh, red post posture tolerance area, stability condition and mask condition, two conditions are fulfilled. So, if the, this, um, the, um, so sorry, uh, the patient posture located in the, these red, red areas, the, post, the patient can stand up with own physical strings. Okay, summary is here. Stability condition, mask conditions. The models, both condition fulfills are defined acceptance tolerance we see, we, in this paper. Next, we propose the counter algorithms to realize a defined tolerance posture. We use a position counter and dumping counter. The first, I introduce a prototype. This robot can assist two degrees of freedom. Uh, this is up down and mani manipulator. And this, our, uh, sorry, and this is uh, uh, Activated, uh, sorry, uh, powered walker. So, forward, back, on direction um, by function using the function of powered walker. A standing my support manipulator consists of the linear actuator and the gas spring for reducing the um, producting cost. A robot measures its user's posture using laser range finder like this. Laser range finder is located here. And we can use, we can measure the, these lines like this. Using the body, body linkage model, we estimated the uh, center of gravity position of its, its user. In this case, the safety tolerance is defined as this. Proposed algorithm is here. If the center of gravity goes to outside the tolerance. Tolerance is here, then out, out of tolerance here. If the core sales goes to outside of the tolerance like this, this means that it is difficult to stand. So our algorithm fix its center of gravity to the tor within the tolerance and makes the patient standing easy, like this. If its user does not fit the reference path. And in the, if the safety balance here, and the motion here, but uh, if the motion that goes to this direction, the, this motion will, will go outside the safety tolerance. If the, its user does not fit the reference path, the robot estimates how many seconds the user's posture will become unsafe. Uh, it is easy to uh, estimate. Then uh, our, uh, our robot express uh, this distance using the time, t tolerance. Using these parameters, we switch the uh, damping control and position control. Proposed algorithm is the robot switches damping control and position control. A damping control, the robot will allow the user's voluntary motion and position control, the robot will be forced to adjust to the fixed reference path. We can measure the, uh, this force, uh, force information like this. Algorithm here, uh, this is the uh, difference of the Q points here. So this is uh, only the time uh, table, uh, table information. The controller of robot is here. And uh, this is the damping control part, and this is the position control part. If the T tolerance is uh, over or zero, 
This means within safety tolerance. Yeah, the posture is within safety tolerance. So, the parameter uh, coefficient is set it like this, and this means uh, activating the damping control. And if t tolerance less than zero, this means the posture is not safety tolerance. So this is a dangerous situation. So in this case, this parameter is zero. So deactivating the damping control. So we, <coughs> I'm sorry, a robot using our position control and fix that, fix the patient motion to the difference plus uh, falsely. Okay, I show the performance of a robot. This is uh, um, um, your usage without our idea. So this is the um, first first fixed. This is uh, our idea. The patient can move to the whole direction freely. So the standing motion is bearing and we become natural. And um, please compare two motions. This is with our idea. This is a slow motion. The more the patient can go the forward direction and can stand up with uh, like like a uh, young young uh, young people. Uh, sorry, and on the other without idea, the robot fixed the difference. So the patient can go the forward direction. So the very, uh, very uh, unnatural standing motion. Um, subjects is, uh, th th sorry, and this is a, a result. The subject use a more physical string using a proposed idea like this. And this is uh, case two with the proposed scheme. Muscular activity is increased like this. This means the subject used more physical strings. This is a very good, uh, good, uh, good case. And this is uh, uh, muscular activity. Uh, muscular uh, activities and uh, this is a movement pattern, uh, time scale, and activity. In this case, uh, with a proposed scheme, the muscular activity increases this uh, this pattern. And in this uh, in this period, the human lifting up the upper body. So this is in this period, the muscular activity increase increase of muscular activity is very natural, and this subject uses his own physical strings as he stands with his intention. Okay, I con uh, let's con let conclude my research. Uh, my uh, objective to develop and assist robot using their own physical strings. So, you, for realizing this system, we investigate the safety tolerance and in implement the assistant algorithm to the uh, for, um, proposed uh, so our prototype. A prototype can assist patient using their own physical strings like this. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Daisuke, for your very nice presentation. It was really, really, uh, for me, it was very interesting. Anyone has any question, please join. Okay, Daisuke, can I ask one question? Yes. Uh, regarding the, the muscle activity that you show, these yeah. three muscles that you choose are the important muscles that are needed for the sit to stand phase, or are there other muscles that has to be considered? Because I saw, for example, rectus femoris is not that much of a big muscle, but you you consider this muscle as an important muscle. I just wanted to know why have you selected the muscle activity to show oh, that okay. it is getting activated and the patient is really using his muscles? 
and uh, okay. and what are the effects? Mm -hmm. And uh, we we measure the eight 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 muscles uh, based on the uh, based on the opinions of the specialist. Uh, but uh, usually the um, sorry uh, <laughs> I cannot uh, uh, speak the. Uh, in, in Japanese, Daiden, Daiden King, but uh, I, I forget to, uh, in English, <laughs> what? <laughs> but the main, main uh, I show the result of main, uh, main muscles, but the other, mus other muscles, the same, uh, same tendency. Mm -hmm. So, oh. uh, but usually the uh, subject, uh, the muscular activity, is in different individually. So it is difficult to uh, evaluate, but um, in, in, our, uh, in this paper, five subjects, uh, five elderly, uh, uh, require, uh, five elderly subjects um, test, tested our prototype. And five subjects, the muscular activity is increased and the standing uh, posture is uh, safe. Only one subject uh, is not uh, good because uh, uh, he, he is a different, uh, different problem, problem in, in his body. So the, in this case, the uh, Mm. This is very difficult, <laughs> but uh, uh, in many in many cases it it works. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> no problem. So I thank you, and I uh, thank everyone, all the audience, to attend this session.